Y'all, we're making peanut butter cookies. Come on. Welcome to Highfalutin Low Carb, the weekly web series where we find and test the best low carb recipes this crazy internet has to offer. Today, we're tackling low carb peanut butter cookies. Stay tuned. All right guys, low carb peanut butter cookies. Can it be done? We're gonna find out by testing two different recipes today. Now, regular peanut butter cookies are always known as being super easy to make, just a couple or three ingredients, and really, really tasty. Uh, so we wanted to see if we could replicate that in the low carb world, and we've done that with our first recipe. And then I also wanted to try something that was a little more substantial, that had some possibly other ingredients to see if that improved upon the natural peanut butter that we're gonna use for this. So our first recipe is low carb peanut butter cookies and this is by the website tasteaholics.com all these links will be down here on the screen y'all this thing must be great it's got three ingredients and 11,000 reviews and it has five stars so <laughs> that's insane and then our second recipe is keto peanut butter cookies with almond flour and this is by the website fit to serve group.com so all the links will be down here below now before we begin though I need to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video Green Chef. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company with meal plans to fit a variety of lifestyles. For me, I choose their keto meal plan, but they also have delicious dishes for a variety of lifestyles, including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and again, keto for us folks. It's nice to have a fridge full of delicious meals that are ready to go. Now, the recipes are usually quick and easy, and there's a step-by-step -step instruction guide. You get a card, with chef tips and photos to sort of guide you along the way. And what's nice is you really learn uh, how to combine flavors and textures that you probably wouldn't have gotten otherwise that you can then take and use in other dishes that aren't from Green Chef. So this is one of our favorite meals this week. This is the Cajun Sausage and Veggie Skillet. Uh, this thing has blackening spices that go on top of yellow squash and tomatoes roasted red peppers and then this all is covered in these beautiful cajun sausages that you slice up and then you've got a creamy dijonese that's made with avocado mayo that's what's nice is a lot of these recipes come with pre-made sauces that are made with uh, high quality ingredients and are fantastic flavor and it just saves you a lot of step this thing went together in 15 minutes no lie that was the entire time so thank you green chef for sponsoring this video it's sponsorships like yours that keep channels like mine on the air and for that, I'm truly appreciative. Guys, if you want to support me, go support them. Check out the delicious delivery options from Green Chef. Go to greenchef.us slash 90 highfalutin and you'll get $90 off across your first four boxes and free shipping on your first box. All right, now let's go make some cookies. Come on. All right, so let's get started on our first recipe. Guys, this could not be simpler. There are literally just three ingredients. This is the low carb peanut butter cookies uh, by tasteaholics.com. Um, I say it all the time, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. But it bears repeating, uh, these are not my recipes. I don't give exact measurements for these recipes. The people that did create these, they deserve the traffic. So be sure to use the links down here on the screen. They'll also be in the video description below. So this starts with some peanut butter obviously can't have peanut butter cookies without peanut butter this is a, a high quality natural peanut butter that is unsweetened so we're going to start with that we're going to add in our sweetener and this is uh, she says this needs to be confectioners it needs to be powdered uh, erythritol blend and so that's what we we're using here and um, that usually breaks up pretty easily so no need to no need to sift that and then we're just going to add an egg and y'all this is it this is all there is to it um, and that's why I wanted to pick out another recipe as well that had some other ingredients that might help this hold together because um, both of the recipes I chose, they both say um, that these can be crumbly and you really need to let them come to cool down on the tray before you even touch them. So we're just going to mix this up good. I think that's about as good getting thick <laughs> so I'm just gonna use a cookie scoop and use my it is clean I promise this pan is clean it's just stained um, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna use a cookie scoop she said make one inch balls but it's just sometimes easier for me to just use a scoop and then um, 
we got to do the traditional crisscross hatch with the with the forks right on top. It it's, it ain't a peanut butter cookie if you don't have the the, the hatch on top. To me, <laughs> that's the telltale sign that that's what it is. All right, guys. So these are hatched. Uh, cross hatched and ready to go. Um, it, th there was a little bit of difficulty with uh, needing to hold the, the cookie down, but it wasn't too cumbersome. A lot of people will say to spray a little cooking spray on the back of your uh, fork before you do it, but I didn't want to introduce any additional fat or anything into the recipe. It's not fair because she didn't say to do that, but if you have trouble, that might be something you want to try. All right, in the oven this goes, 350 degrees, 10 to 15 minutes until the edges turn brown. Leave them on the pan until they fully cool, all right? We're gonna do that, get ready for our second recipe. I'll meet you right back here. All right, guys, we're back. Our first batch is uh, cooling behind me and we're ready to start our second recipe. And this is Keto Peanut Butter Cookies Almond Flour uh, by the website fittoservegroup.com. And this one is a little more, I guess you could say traditional because we're gonna cream together. As you can see, we've got peanut butter, again, the same brand, all natural sugar-free peanut butter. We've got some softened, unsalted, butter and to this we're going to add a little bit of um, swerve granulated she specifically called for granulated whereas the other recipe called for confectioners so i'm following the recipe as it's written so in this goes along with an egg and we're just going to use a mixer and cream this together before we add the other ingredients and i'm going to try to do this without slinging everything over the kitchen i hate this hand mixer so uh just give me a little prayer if you don't mind and um, i'll meet you here in just a second okay it didn't make too much of a mess all right so we've got our creamed butter peanut butter sweetener and egg and to this we're going to add a couple of three things the first is blanched almond flour and you definitely want to sift that and this is some baking powder and a little bit of salt both uh, obviously missing from the first recipe so sift this out see all those lumps you don't want that in your recipe so we just use a spatula to incorporate this stir it in good So um, I'm gonna obviously do the exact same thing we did just a moment ago. I'm curious to see what the almond flour and the butter and the baking powder do for this recipe. Speaking of uh, baking, um, speaking of almond flour, um, if you, both of these recipes mentioned that if you don't eat peanuts on your keto or low carb diet, um, use almond butter or a sunflower butter um, or any uh, substitute like that that you wanna try that it works just as well. Just make sure you're getting something that's unsweetened. All right, guys, so these are now ready to go in the oven. They've been hatched. This was this felt more like batter than it did dough. This is considerably softer. I'm, I'm curious, is it gonna spread or what it's gonna do? So um, in the oven, this goes uh, for 10 to 12 minutes, same temperature, 350. And then I'm gonna let both of these all just cool uh, and then we'll come back here and test them when they firmed up and are cool. So, all right, <laughs> hopefully I'll have two plates of cookies and a whole lot of willpower. <laughs> I'll see you guys here in just a little bit. All right, guys, we're back and we've got cookies. We've got cookies. All right, <laughs> look how beautiful these are. Okay, this is the first recipe here. This is the second. So let's, before I taste them, they've, they've been cooling for about a half an hour. I took, I cooled them on the pan for about 15 minutes, slid the paper and parchment, the whole thing off onto a cooling rack, as you can see. So let's talk about nutrition. This is our first recipe, the one that only had three ingredients. This is low carb peanut butter cookies by tasteaholics.com. This is the one 11,000 people left positive reviews for. Um, this recipe makes 15 cookies. If you get 15 out of the recipe, this isn't the entire recipe, right? I still have some in the bowl over there. If you make 15, one cookie is 105 calories, nine grams of fat, four grams of protein, and two grams of net carbs. Now let's talk about our second recipe. This is the um, keto peanut butter cookies with almond flour. 
This recipe makes 16 cookies. Again, there's more dough in the bowl. This is just, uh, this is just how many I baked off now. If you get 16, uh, one cookie is 145 calories, 13.3 grams of total fat, you've got um, five grams of protein and 2.4 grams of net carbs. So 2.4 grams of net carbs, two grams of net carbs. So how do they taste? Let's dig in here and let's see about this first one. Okay, I wanna try to gently take them off because I don't wanna split them if they're not meant to. So he looks pretty, y'all, look at that. Look how nice that is, okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up one of these too. These are a little harder to get off. As you can see, that butter left behind. I guess the peanut butter did too. So this is our first one. It held its shape a little better. You can see the other one, let me turn them the correct way. This one spread out some. So here's our, ooh yeah, they baked up perfectly. So what's it taste like? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Soft. Real soft. Mm-hmm. Some cooling. A little bit of erythritol cooling, which we knew, right? That's really good. Three ingredients. Didn't have to have an appliance. Pretty good. All right, let me get some water. Hold on. Now, that was really good. Let's try our second one. Did all the extra ingredients, the baking powder, um, which didn't make it rise much at all, as you see, uh, and the butter and all of that jazz. Looks really good underneath. Holding up pretty well. What's it taste like? That's good. Okay. The butter, the whole stick of butter adds a tremendous depth of flavor here. The almond flour gave something for the butter to um, absorb into. There is a cooling effect, um, but not as noticeable. The salt, that little, I used unsalted butter, obviously like the recipe called for, but that little half teaspoon of salt Mm. Okay. Okay, y'all. Those are both very good. And if I had not tried these and only had just made these and eaten them, I would have been happy as a pig in mud. That tastes really good. Really good. And they're firm. But then I went and tried this one. The butter and the salt and the almond flour did add a lot, I will say. So I guess you, you know, if you're happy with the easy way to go, do these, you will be absolutely happy. If you want to gild the lily, as they say, and take it one step further, uh, that is the fit to serve group. Uh, I believe that was who it was, is that is fantastic. So, all right guys, there you have it. Low carb peanut butter cookies. Can it be done? Oh yes. Depends on how much you want to work put in it, which recipe you make but you won't go wrong with either one of those. So thank you for joining me. I say it every time. These videos are a way for me to maintain my low carb way of eating. Looking into the end of that camera as often as I can helps keep me honest. So I appreciate that you guys have come along for the journey. Um, if you're new here, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, if you're not new here, be sure you hit that bell button down below. It'll let you know just as soon as I release new videos. So if you uh, liked what you saw here, be sure to give me a thumbs up. It lets the YouTube algorithm know to share this with other people that, that other people liked it too. So um, I also need to give another quick shout out to my sponsor, uh, Green Chef, for sponsoring this. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, be sure to use the link down here on the screen. It'll be in the video description below as well. It's greenchef.us slash 90 highfalutin, and that will get you $90 off across your first four boxes and free shipping on your first box. So uh, guys, if you want to support me, go support them. I say it um, often that uh, sponsorships aren't why I do this. Sponsorships are how I do this. So I appreciate you guys being supportive and listening. Um, I also need to give a quick thank you to my rock stars. They're going to be scrolling down the screen about now. Um, these are my Patreon members. If you don't know what Patreon is, think of it as the tip jar for the internet. It allows people like you who enjoy what people like me do here on YouTube. And you can give a dollar to a month just to 
keep the train on the tracks, as it were. So uh, thank you to these guys. Without them, none of this would be possible. If you want to check them out, go to patreon.com slash highfalutin low carb. All right, guys, I will see you very soon next week for another low carb video. Bye-bye.